What's going on, Jerome's? So I predicted yesterday, very sad, very melancholy, very emo about the Vikings dropping down to 7-8 and eight, and their playoff dreams dashed hopes down the effing drain but it's monday so we're back baby we are back uh taking a look at the bright side of life and the vikings they still have a chance they need to win out they need to win at green bay they need to beat the bears at home i actually think beating the bears at home in a quasi meaningless game could be uh is the tougher game because the vikings always look to take it to the packers and the bears i don't know I, I, I don't know, man, but uh, the Vikings need to win out, and they need some help. They are currently the nine seed in the NFC pending Monday Night Football, where the Saints host the Dolphins in that classic, I don't know, uh, Miami versus New Orleans. Hey, we host Super Bowls matchup, sure, whatever. But remember, the Saints are down like 17 quarterbacks. They tried to call Drew Brees his dead ass to get him off the uh, golf course. They called Phillip Rivers, like, hey, bring your 19 kids and counting and come and, and watch Monday Night Football. Watch us play be our quarterback, but they're like, no. So Ian Book, the rookie from Notre Dame, is going to start. So Dolphins, Brian Flores, Tua, one time. Can we get it going? Go ahead. But the Vikings would actually move into the eighth spot uh, if and when the Saints lose tonight on Monday Night Football because uh, of the common games tiebreaker. The Vikings uh, ha and the Saints have the Packers, uh, Panthers, Seahawks, and Cowboys in common. Vikings 3-1 and one in those games. Saints are 2-2, two and two, but the Vikings, yeah, they lost their chance to control their own destiny by losing to the Rams in just a morose game. Like, the Vikings were never in danger of winning that game. They just, like, they just looked dead in the first half. And then in the red zone, I mean, don't we said our piece yesterday. It was rough, man. It is really, really rough. But uh, the Packers allegedly have that one spot. Uh, then you have Dallas. You have the Rams. You got the Bucks. But what happened to the Cardinals? Like, did they just hit the NOS too early, like that kid in Fast and Furious? It's possible. Uh, the Niners, even though they dropped one, the Vikings couldn't do anything with it. And then, of course, the Eagles beat the Giants because they're the Giants. So it's really one playoff spot up for grabs. Uh, the Eagles in that seventh spot, and that's why the Vikings definitely need to win out and get some help. <clears throat> So here we go. This is 538. Vikings are currently 11% to get a wild card spot. The Eagles are at 60%. They're currently sitting in the seventh spot. Saints at 53%. How does that add up? I don't know. Well, it's because the, the Niners are 69%. Nice, because they definitely could have used that Tennessee Titans win. But you know, we'll see there. Bottom line, the Vikings need to win out. And also, they need the Saints to drop two other final three, which I think they, they could get it done. I think that they could uh, drop an L tonight on Monday Night Football, and for that, we would thank you. Uh, the Vikings obviously need to win out to even have a shot. Otherwise, things just really need to go to hell in a handbasket. So if they do that, and then the Niners. So the Niners get Houston at home. Houston's plucky, but I, I do not think that – Yeah, I, I don't think that they're going to give them a run for the money. So say that they beat Houston – Actually, let, let's just give the Niners a playoff spot. Say that they beat the Rams. The Rams may be locked into a playoff, uh, into a seeding spot, either uh, three or four. So it may not matter to them. They may uh, lock up the division before week 18, depending on what Arizona does. So we'll, we'll just take the, them out of the equation, even though that playoff spot is still up for grabs. But you have the Eagles. The Eagles need to drop a game, and the Saints need to lose two out of three. Uh, that's basically what needs to happen here. And the Vikings, even if the Falcons went out, they would have the conference record tiebreaker over Atlanta, so uh, we can ignore what happens there. Also, it would be nice if Atlanta just gives the business to the Saints because the Saints will be on the road and just one time, one time for the kid. By, by the way, Saints-Falcons, that's one of the more underrated, like, malice, like, hatred uh, rivalries uh, in the National Football League. And they'll, you know, they'll beat Carolina, whatever. Uh, but then you have the Eagles. They're at Washington, and Washington's falling apart, man. Just whatever there. Dallas Dallas may have a shot at the one seed. So uh, they need to keep dreams. Actually, no. Hold on. I'm not going to give the Niners the Rams win because the Rams could have uh, dreams of the one seed as well. Because if and when the Vikings beat the Packers and if the Cowboys and the Rams hold serve uh, week 17. All right. So, yeah, the Cowboys play Arizona. So that, say they get a win there. And then the Rams. Where are the Rams? Yeah, the Rams. Rams are at Baltimore. Ugh. Yeah, uh, Josh Johnson, whatever. All right, so say they do that, they could the one seed could be in play for them. 
So yeah, they're gonna bring all, all that heat, all that stank. So uh, they're all right. The Niners get one win. They're in. All right, whatever then, whatever. And then the Eagles, yeah, hosting Dallas. That's not gonna be a cakewalk if the one seed is in play for the Cowboys. I, if the Cowboys are locked into the two, three, four, I don't think that they'll give full effort week eighteen. And for that, kind of sucks. But whatever. Say, or so say the Eagles drop one. Uh, against the the Cowboys week 18 because they're motivated because in this simulation Cowboys or the Vikings beat the Packers week 17 God, it, it's so weird it's so weird to say like nine and seven. Oh wait it has to be ten and seven. Oh wait all this because of the 17 game uh, season whatever so the Vikings at nine and eight would get it done by winning out but remember the you know, taking the Niners out of here the Eagles have to drop one and the Saints have to drop two out of three which it's possible it is possible. Is it probable? No, that's why the Vikings are at 11%, but they can get in. But like, like we said, uh, if the Saints win, ooh, 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 ooh. So the Saints just have to drop a conference game so they can win tonight against the Dolphins. I misspoke. We will take that because let's flip this around because uh, say they lose to the Dolphins and then they beat the stupid Falcons. Yeah, and then it goes their way. Ooh. So... The Saints losing tonight, it would be nice, but it's not necessarily necessary. So the Saints win, the Vikings still have a decent shot. Because, uh, hold on. Hold on. Enhance. All right, so say they lose there, Vikings there. But uh, if the Eagles do win out, then it's the Eagles wild card spot. Yep, so there we go. Uh, and for the Niners to drop out, they have to drop both games. Uh, against the Texans and the Rams because the conference record as well as, of course, the head-to-head -head against the Vikings. So if the if the 49ers lost out, to, I, like we said, the Texans, the Texans are plucky, man. I think Davis Mills is actually pretty legit. Uh, so say the, uh, the Niners lose out, the Saints lose two out of three, including one uh, conference game. Well, there's two conference games left. So they lose two out of three, and then the Vikings ah, win out. They're in. It's kind of crazy kind of fun to play around with but oh eagles point one. Oh, they got the dui chance to make the playoffs neat but yeah all this is sort of hokum it, it comes down to vikings take care of the business and everything else will take care of itself and if they win out and uh they don't make the dance so be it you know so be it whatever uh but beat the packers beat the bears and you know for most vikings fans that would be a nice way to end the season. Like, give it your best shot, beat your two biggest rivals, and then we'll move on with life, man. But your thoughts on our thoughts. Vikings, 11% to make the dance. They need a lot of help, but it all starts week 17 Sunday Night Football because it can't be flexed out uh, against the greasy, grimy Green Bay Packers. Uh, let us know your thoughts on our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull, production value.